girls and boys by age 10 are equally interested uh, in STEM, but then something happens where girls start to stream out um, and they don't pursue the advanced courses in science and math, um, which is unfortunate because um, that can really set them back if they want to pursue STEM careers later on. They need those early courses as a prerequisite. So a lot of our corporate support goes to ensuring that girls understand what's required to do a STEM career, but also to enthuse them to pursue these subjects because they're so important. And we also know that more jobs in the 21st century are going to require STEM skills, so it's extremely important that we see more of our girls um, enter these fields. Um, there is still a lot of work to do. Um, progress has been made, but this is something we must continue to focus on. And there's a great quote that says, an education system cannot be better than the quality of its teachers. So we have decided in our own um, corporate support that we do around the world to focus more on improving teacher quality. It is particularly critical for STEM because there are fewer teachers in the classroom today that have specific STEM skills. So more of our corporate support around the world is really going to helping teachers um, improve their own performance and giving them the resources they need in the classroom. And what we see when we do these programs is that their confidence is raised um, and we actually see wonderful improvements even in student outcome data. We have a program um, that we've been running for a number of years that focuses specifically on science and math teachers. And it's particularly important because fewer teachers have skills in math and science. Um, this program started in the United States, but we've also taken it to Doha, uh, where we did our first class uh, last year, and we're about to begin our second one. So 80 teachers will have gone through um, this teaching academy um, by the end of this year.